continue if we just check on it. Don't go stay the night with him, but just check on it. Is that all right? Yeah. Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 11. Grateful for Brother Moody to stand with us. Amen. 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 What we go through, he's right there with us. Amen. For the writer, Agar, this is really not Solomon. such a long time, and so he writes this. So he gathered all of these things together. Verse 11, there was a generation that curses their father and does not bless their mother. There was a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. Call them hypocrites. Thirteen, there was a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. This is a proud generation, a generation of just being proud of how they look, beautiful people. But you're going to lose all of that, aren't you? <laughs> Fourteen, there was a generation whose teeth are as silver. Jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. We just got some greedy people. That's who they're talking about, those that never get enough in their life. So thank you so much. You may be seated. should be respected. The special esteem or consideration in which one holds another person or thing respect. It also means to show or feel respect or consideration regardless of who it is. Amen. Proverbs 20 and 20, whoso curses his father or his mother, his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. And then the 19th chapter, the 26th verse, he that wastes his father, chases away his mother, is a son that curses shame and bringeth report. Reproach, thank you. We talked today about a father's instruction. A father's instruction. Amen. 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 Father's instruction. He holds a high position. Many people call him Lord. That's what one of the writers spoke of. As Sarah called him Lord, that puts him in ownership. Amen. Thank you, sir. That puts him in ownership or possession that places him in the leading role. He's the owner. He's the Lord. He's the master. Jose verses, chapter 2, verse 16. <laughs> Father's Day, Father's instruction, he says in Proverbs 4 and 1, Hear, 
the children, the instruction of the Father, and attend, that means to study, to know understanding. Hear the instructions of the Father. The book of Proverbs is a collection of sayings intended to serve as a guide for daily life. Amen. Yes. Might seem old folk, but it'll help. Amen. The sayings cover many different topics. <coughs> talks about attitudes. Amen. It talks about relationships. Amen. Such evaluation, such things as wealth, it talks about how you ought to act even though you got money, that don't place you above anybody else. Right. 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 It talks about poverty. Everybody's not going to be rich. Thank you. Amen. It talks about power. Just because you have power, that doesn't mean that you boss people around. You got to talk to people the way you want people to talk to you. Can we keep going? The first nine chapters Proverbs are devoted to a description of what we call wisdom. Mm -hmm. The text discusses the benefits of wisdom, talks about wisdom, and warns against folly. Mm -hmm. it, it talks to you about, listen, don't, don't just waste your time. Mm -hmm. Because, Doc, when people waste your time, that's all you really have. Right. When people waste your time, they're wasting your life. Because that's all you got. And when that time is over, you're gone. So if there is no productivity, amen, people just hanging around, having nothing to offer, they're just wasting your time. If she don't have nothing to offer you, why are you wasting your time? If he don't have anything to offer, why are you wasting your time? Amen. Ain't no need to hang around, is it? Y'all all right? Amen. That's wisdom. Amen. But if she have something to offer, take your time. Amen, and enjoy the ride. Amen. Chapter 4, Proverbs. Wisdom is priority. The reader is exalted to value wisdom above everything. One who loves wisdom, that is, the whisperer, the whispered word from God. Well, that, 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 that's wisdom right there, what God has to say. Amen. That is the whispered word from God which directs us into the right path. We'll always be watched over. When, 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 when we find out what God has to say about the matter. All right. That's why he said in the third chapter, in all thy ways, right. acknowledge me. And I'll direct your path. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my voice. And I know them and they follow me. Hebrew 3 and 7. Wherefore, as the Holy Spirit says today, if you will hear his voice. Yeah. Harden not your hearts, right. 
as in the day of publication, of temptation in the wilderness. There are some things that we have to face. And you're going to need God on your side. Amen. Anybody believe that? Amen. You don't know what you got to face in life. You don't know what sickness is ahead of you. Hmm? What I look at it, I, I look at it like this the other night, amen. I, I was just lying there and thinking, what if I mistreat my wife? And then she has to take care of me. Amen. <laughs> I had to think for a while. You, you got to understand that even though you are in your right mind, and I want to say this, you, when, when you are in your right mind, you have a blessing on your hand. Yeah. You're not hearing what I'm saying to you. What if you just wake up one morning and you don't know who you are? Yeah. Yeah. You don't know to put on your clothes. You don't know to go to the restroom. You don't know nothing. You just standing up there naked. And you don't know. It's a blessing just to wake up in your right mind. When, when you think about it, you, you've been blessed beyond your thinking. What if someone has to bathe you, take care of you, clean you, amen, feed you? Not that you're a child any longer. Babies can't take care of themselves. But if you've become mature and an adult, then all of a sudden you wake up and can't even think. So, so often we got to tell God, Lord, I thank you for being in my right mind. know what you're going to face in life. Amen. What if she have to see about me? All right. When I told you yesterday, she go, I told her to lay that way. Turn around. Amen. And she tried to move around 1 o'clock. I said, nobody gave you permission to move. You stay still. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a blessing just to wake up and see another day. It's wisdom to know to tell God thank you for how you blessed me. So James talked about it. Verse 1 and 19, wherefore, my brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Be so fast. Take your time. Understand what is being said. So he said, be swift to hear. What did you say? Would you repeat that again, please? Be swift to hear, slow to speak, and then slow to get angry. Because something we say, All right. you might have to eat them again. When, when you're angry at the house and you're fussing around the house, then you got to watch what you say. Gonna get a witness there. Yeah. Because you just might have to chew it. <laughs> and then don't say so much because it might be too much for you to chew at one time. <laughs> a father's instruction, Revelation 2 and 7, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says 
to the church. Amen. Amen. So wisdom is supreme. Solomon says in verse 7, it is the principal thing. That means when you work on the principle, All right. the interest go down. That's right. Oh, I wish I had somebody with me right there. When you pay on your principle, the interest rate, you paying things off quicker. All right. Even though I'm paying you my principle, uh, even though I'm paying you the minimum amount, I'm going to still give you $100 to put on the principle. And if we work on the principle, amen, mm. think the interest would have to deal with sin yeah. okay. or go down. Right. When you work on doing the right thing, right. and then you ask God to help you, amen, help me, amen, to keep from talking, help me to keep from being so mad and angry, help me, yeah. amen, to hear what is being said, help me. To love even my enemy. Yeah. I don't mean matter to get like that, but there's something about the Holy Spirit, boy. It makes you go to talk, and I don't feel good, but I will talk. Amen. Is that all right? Yeah. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Yeah. And listen to what he said out of all thy getting, yeah. out of all what? I get it. Get what? I want to understand what you are saying because yeah. a lot of people have lost their lives All right. dealing with yeah. misunderstanding. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I thought you was your brother, no. One fella wanted to whoop me. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> This ain't him. <laughs> you better make sure. <laughs> so the writer insists, therefore, get wisdom. A lot of people don't have it. What is it? You got a lot of educators. That don't have wisdom. They got education, but no common sense. That's wisdom. Common sense. Wisdom. Knowing I can't swim all the way across and back. But don't let nobody push you. You can do it, no. That's wisdom, no. I don't care what you say. I know what I can do. Oh, I can do it. If I were you, I'll do it. Wait, wait. You're not me. Tell you what you do. You do it, and then I'll do it. Let me see you swim, bro. Now that's wisdom. <laughs> so the writer insisted, therefore, get wisdom. And our elders call wisdom common sense. Mother wit. That's another one. Amen. Mother wit. If you know you're sick, It'll tell you you need to get some bread. Talk to me somebody. You must be tired. <laughs> Proverbs encourage youth to choose God's pathway and experience life rather than follow the more popular ways Amen. and inner death doors. In this world, there are many values competing with the Bible. Yes, it is, Pastor. Right. Yes, it is. All right. Many may look attractive uh -huh. and seem desirable, uh -huh. but one should only listen to wisdom. Uh -huh. 
and act in accord with wisdom. Above all else, keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of the heart flows the issues of life. And I'm going to say this to you. Don't let nobody get to your heart. I know she got in there, but don't let her know. <laughs> God, your heart, this is what he said. There are some things, that there are some ear gates to the heart. A lot of things you hear a mess with your heart. So therefore, you got to listen to that which is helpful to you. Don't, don't all the time hang around junk. about other people. Right. Huh? Amen. Listen, take that on some other place. I ain't got time for that foolishness. Huh? Take that on because I, I'm God in my heart. I don't want to hear nothing that's going to deteriorate me. Nothing that's going to diminish you in my eyesight. I love you and that's all that matters. When you love somebody, you don't let people go around talking about them. You let them know, that's my friend. No, that's my wife. You can't talk about my wife. That's my son. No, you can't get some other spot. Look at it for just a moment. You got to guard your ear gates. Don't let people say everything. You busy. You busy cleaning and wiping and iron and doing what you need to do, but somebody call in and stop you by. And all of a sudden, you got to stop <laughs> and hear this foolishness. I got other things I can do. Amen. God yourself. There's another gate to your heart. Mm. What is it? Your eye. What you say? What you see. Mm. See? What you see sometimes is really not what you think it is. Right, 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 right. This is where wisdom come in at. Right. See? This is where wisdom come in at. You got to watch it. Amen. Don't let people direct you in the right. path. I'm going to get out of it in just a minute. But these are the gates to your heart. Amen. I thought he was mad. <laughs> it's not all the time what it's saying. He could be witnessing to her. He could be telling her about Jesus. Amen. She could be talking about Jesus or directing him to the doctor's office. You don't know. Amen. You just got a glance. That's right. Amen. That's right. So men that look attractive and seem desirable, but one should only listen to wisdom and act in accord with wisdom. Above all else, keep thy heart with all diligence. Guard your heart. Above, amen, he said, out of it flows the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth. Pervertedness. And corrupt talk. Perverse lips. Put from thee. I can talk a lot right there. So I don't want you to feel as though I'm at anything or at anybody. But listen to what he said. This is wisdom. This is a father's instruction. Amen. Put away from thee a forward mouth. And perverse lips. That means corrupt talk. He said put it far from thee. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Yeah. And if we would just look to Christ, you got to have blinders on in many things. All right. mm. 
There's a slogan that says, I see nothing. I say nothing. And I hear nothing. Because your name will get mixed up in a lot of things. Are y'all all right? He continues, make straight path for your feet. And take only ways that are firm. Amen. Speaking to the children, speaking to those of us, amen, that is under direction. It doesn't matter. He calls all of us little children. I want to ask you something. That what you are doing, is it going to last? Is it fruitful? The way you're acting, is that going to last? Or is it fruitful? The way you're talking, is that going to last? Amen. Is it profitable for you? This is what we got to see. The thing that I say, can I meet them again? Even though we say it behind the back, can we say it in their face? Y'all all right? Amen. Father's instruction, the Father's instruction. He said, make level path. That's balance in life. That's balance that he's speaking of. See? You can be so holy. All right. All right. And then you don't have a balance in life. I had to make sure of that because I was always dealing with the church. You can be too church oriented to where you leaving your wife behind you. Not spending time with my wife every time, every door, every time the door home, I'm here to make sure everything goes proper. But when I get home, Where is the balance? You save, but don't forget about wife. You save, but don't forget about the children. You save, but don't forget about time for yourself. Thank you, Nick. I must have said something up to that child. Don't forget, don't forget to work in all of these hours. Look at it, you don't have no balance. 18, 19 hours, you working. You got a young wife, man. <laughs> Somebody got that done. <laughs> You got to understand things have to be a balance in life. Amen. This is what wisdom comes in at. Yeah. See, you can be so holy the way you won't be no earthly good. Amen. You get into heaven anyhow, but you can't nobody talk to you. You don't have a decent conversation. Everything is about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> That's running people away from you. Yeah. Yeah. There have to be a balance. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. Hear, ye children, the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding. And so I'll give you some scriptorial reference. The book of Psalms 95 and verse 7. Also the book of Psalm 135 and verse 17. Where we are in the book of Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5, 6, 7. I wish I had time to go over it all, God. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 5. Also the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Since I'm so close to that one, I'll find Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Do I need the who? 
You're doing all right. I'm going to stay right where I'm at right now. Ecclesiastes <clears throat> chapter 12 and verse 13. And Father, by these, my son, be admonished. Of making many books, there is no end, and much study, listen to it, much study is a weariness of the flesh. You can get so deep to what nobody understands what you're talking about. We're too deep, come up. Everything is on the level, that's what he's trying to say to us. You're studying so much, and when you're talking, don't nobody understand because they don't understand that. Yes, Keep it calm, keep it plain. Even though you have the education, amen, there are words that little children need to understand. <laughs> Young people are anxious to be began making their own decisions. They're very anxious to begin making their own decisions. I found out if you don't hold a tight rope, That's right. they're going to say, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 That's right. They're very anxious because things do change, but they're still the same. Right. We got to understand that. I don't know what they call what we used to call bell bottoms, <laughs> they still out. <laughs> the name is different. <laughs> Why live? Bootcut. Bootcut. Yeah. I haven't heard that. But see, Solomon says there is nothing new <laughs> under the sun. <laughs> it's just a different name. We used to call it weed. Right. What do they call it now? Y'all know. Cannabis. What is it? Cannabis. No. Cannabis? Yeah. That's the medical term. <laughs> so there was a change. But it's still the same. At that time, it was illegal. Now they don't legalize. Because there's money behind it. See? So there is no difference. And when they are coming along, and when we came along, it's just the name them change. Amen. See, they think they're doing something now by wearing their clothes way down. Yeah. I couldn't get away with it. Amen. 74, 75, they used to do the same thing. Amen. How many remember that? Amen. Don't raise your hand back there. Same thing. It's a, it's a difference, but yet there's no difference. See? Solomon said there was nothing new under the sun, and so our children, we did it to our parents. We wanted to make our own decision when to come home. See? How late can I stay out? 11 o'clock was good. <clears throat> but when Junior came along, 11 o'clock was when they were headed up. Oh, it done changed? See, it's been a long time since I went out. And if I take Jack out, I got to have her home by nine. Because she's going to be asleep around 9 on 5. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, when you look at it, when you look at the training, I want you to see the training. TJ and them had to go to sleep right before who came on? With the Wheel of Fortune. There you go. When the Wheel of Fortune came on, they had to go to bed. When TJ hit the tip grade, he said, Well, I'm tired of this. My daddy get dad on the phone. He said, Dad, we don't got to be teenagers now. Can we go? Can we stay up just a little bit later than we will the fortune? <laughs> but when they got out the house, 
she had trained them to the point to where when Will of Fortune went to coming on, he started going to sleep. <laughs> it's in the makeup. It's how you train them. And you can't wait till they get big before you go to training. You got to start training them when. That's wisdom. You got him and you don't even know it. If you train him while he's young to go to sleep, and when that time comes, <laughs> so young people are anxious to begin making their own decision when they come in. How late can I stay out? What to put on. Mm. And just because everybody's dressing like that, mm. we got to understand that there were different houses. Right. Amen. Amen. And they can't do in this house Amen. what they do in that house. Right. I wish I had a witness right there. Amen. 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 I, I don't want you dressing like that. Amen. I want you to put up your clothes. And I got a belt in here for you. <laughs> you can put it around you, I'm going to put it on you. Which one you want? <laughs> Y'all didn't get that. <laughs> Make their own decision how late, when to come in, what to dress. Who can I associate with? Amen. Say that. Say that. There's a lot of people that comes into your path. That don't mean you no good. Right. Amen. 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 Huh? I wish I had more young folks here. Mm. A lot of people you associate with, not even, not only children, but you got to watch some adults. Okay. Huh? Amen. Mr. Lee Father said every grin is not a friend. You got to be careful. Who you let in your house? Amen. Who you let in your life? Amen. So learning to make these choices is a part of growing up and maturing. Yeah. But it takes time oh, no. to learn to make wise choices. Oh, yeah. To make a wise choice, it also takes That's why God gave us parents. Oh, yes. Why he put them in our lives to help train and put, get you where you're supposed to be. But when I do, turn you loose. You already know how to take care of yourself. That's my baby. Your baby 35. <laughs> you still got him in there. Long he ain't bothering nobody. Long he stay in there, and then you know, and he playing his uh. Game. Talk to me, Nintendo. <laughs> he better five. You going to work? You seven, and he up in there waiting on you to come home to cook. <laughs> Yo, how can this a runner? You mean to tell me you seven? 75, you going to work, but he's still asleep. <laughs> Waiting on you to come home. What you going to cook? <laughs> I'll be spending that a while. You ain't had to eat all day. No, ma'am, ain't it all day. <laughs>
You had to do some things around the house. While we learn, the mama said, do you need me to come and help you? No, I got it. You all had enough treatment. When Jackie went to the hospital, she didn't have to clean up. I already know how to clean up. She didn't have to wash. I know how to wash. She don't have to cook. I know how to do it. You already know train me how to do it. He said, I'm going to show you how to cook because your wife might get mad. Shut down on me. 